Time for the KSL in-depth. They're here. No, I'm not quoting the movie Poltergeist, at least not intentionally. I'm talking about the JFK assassination files. The National Archives, about an hour ago, released some of the secret records relating to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. ABC chief national correspondent Tom Lama says there's a reason why so many people are interested in what they might find. From the get-go, the news was so hard to believe. A single man with a rifle killing the protected leader of the free world. Then, just two days later, on live television... There is He's been shot. The man who pulled the trigger shot and killed himself in the custody of police officers. All of this sparking intrigue and doubt. The files were scheduled to become public under federal law unless President Trump stopped them. He started tweeting about the situation days ago, teasing the release. Experts say some of those secret documents concern Oswald and his trip to Mexico City seven weeks before the killing his visits to the Russian embassy and Cuban consulate there, and possibly what the CIA and FBI knew about his intentions to want to kill the president. And everyone will be mining the documents for any clues to the big question. Did Oswald act alone? The first batch of records went live on the National Archives website within the past hour. If you want to look for yourself, we posted a link on the Jeff Kaplan Afternoon News Facebook page. Just go take a look. Or... Just pop some popcorn and watch the 1991 Kevin Costner movie, JFK. I never realized Kennedy was so dangerous to the establishment. Is that why? Well, that's a real question, isn't it? Why? The how and the who is just scenery for the public. Oswald, Ruby, Cuba, the mafia. Keeps them guessing like some kind of parlor game. Prevents them from asking the most important question, why? Why was Kennedy killed? Who benefited? Who has the power to cover it up? And just to fuel those conspiracy theories, President Trump has temporarily blocked the release of some records at the request of the CIA and FBI.